guys. Whoa, that wasn't in focus. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking you through my everyday makeup brushes. I was planning on doing this video, and then Emily Canham actually uploaded it. I had it on my notes, like, before a couple of days before she uploaded it. So I was like, I'm gonna film it. I'm just gonna film it. I'm gonna talk through my everyday slash my favorite ones. I don't use all these brushes every day because it just depends, like, what makeup I'm using. But this pot is like my everyday pot, and then I don't know if you can see, I've got another skewer pot up there, but it's not focusing. And that holds like all my other ones. So the first one is not actually in the pot, it's the Beauty Blender. Um, the, I got this off Sephora. For those of you in the UK, I think you can get it um, in Cult Beauty, Beauty Bay, and I think in some boots. But I just got this one um, in, off Sephora because I was making a Sephora order. It is really, really good. I love it to blend in my foundation, to blend in cream contour, to dab, dab in my concealer after I've gone uh, after I've blended it in with a brush. It is really, really good. I just wet it, squeeze out the water, and then use it. It's really like bouncy um so it just taps in your foundation flawlessly leaves no streak marks if you want a flawless complexion go ahead and get this moving on to the brushes in the pot this actually um is a candle that i burned out from new look um so you can't actually buy this as a pot it's just rose gold but you can buy the candle um but i just uh, burned out all the candles for concealer i love the morphe g4 brush i got this off of rachel leary i've mentioned that so many times now but it is so good i got this off beauty bit and i think it was only £10 which is such a good price for the quality the brush is so soft and it just fits under your eyes perfectly like I'm in love with this brush it's my it's odd up in my top favorite three brushes but like I use it for concealer but you could use it for so many things like you could use it for foundation you could use it for like blending out contour I guess if you really wanted to um you can use it for powder I just think it's such a great brush for powder I use this Zoeva brush this is the silk finish brush I'm pretty sure this is a buffing brush but I use it for powder because um I don't like huge powder brushes I just don't I just feel like too much product goes in places I like a smaller and more dense one so this one is perfect because I can control what powder is going where and how much is going on whereas the big ones they're not as dense and they're just huge so you just like put it and it covers half your face so I definitely prefer a smaller one I've got three brushes for contouring bronzing that kind of thing they're all from real techniques shut up the first two i got in the core collection this is the contour and the buffing brush again this is supposed to be a foundation brush but i don't care i of i often get brushes and don't use them for the purpose that they're meant for because i find better purposes for them i should i should be a makeup brush name person that doesn't even make sense i use the contour brush to apply contour um and bronzer i like this for bronzer because it's more precise um a lot of people use big bronze brush but, but otherwise i feel like because i've got quite a small face if i use a big bronzer brush my whole face will just go orange so i love this this is like my favorite one and then i use the buffing brush for buffing but not buffing my foundation i use it to buff in cream contour after i've gone in with a sponge or i sometimes use it for um uh bronzing up but most of the time i'll be using the contour brush and the other one is one that i got on its own and this is the concealer brush but i use it for cream contour because i used to use a flat top brush flat top foundation brush but I feel like this is so much better because it's pointed and like thin it just puts like perfectly in all the places you want and the flat top one because it's flat top it's just kind of it just made it a lot thicker this is just more precise so I prefer it. I have two more face brushes the first one is a blush brush and this is the Gleam Cheek from Zoeva. Honestly, this isn't my usual blush brush, but I can't find my Sigma one. I don't know where it's gone. I used the Sigma Duo Fiber powder slash blush brush. That was way too long, but I don't know where that's gone. So I've been using this one and it just does it the job. It applies the product well. It's not really much to say. The only I don't I don't really have a pick for blush brushes. I don't like huge blush brushes because again my face is small, so if I use it, like my whole cheek will go pink. <laughs> but um the only thing that they have to be is soft because I don't know I just like soft brushes <laughs> and my last brush is the Sigma tapered highlighter F35 this is perfect for highlighting like look at that the highlighter I got on today is the 17 instant glow I always call it shimmer brick and then people are like I can't find the 17 shimmer brick and I'm like that's because I gave you the wrong name I'm sorry it's just so like pointed and just like it places the product perfectly and then i've got a whole load of eye brushes because 
I use loads. I just use loads. The first one is the Natchi Angled Detailer, which I use to apply um, the dip brow pomade. Usually I use the Zoeva one, but it got too dirty and clogged up, so I just was like, I had to dispose of it, unfortunately. Um, both of my Zoeva winged liner brushes, they just got too dirty, so I had to throw them away because the bristles were falling apart and I just used them too much. And then I just had this one in my collection already from a set Nancy sent me. Um, so I just tried it out and I like it for applying dip brush. I have one winged liner brush. This is the MAC 266. I use this if I ever use my Maybelline Drama Gel 24 Studio Hour. I don't know the full name, so I'm gonna stop there. But I use it if I ever use that. Um, and I own, and I use that I don't know, it's not a concealer, it's an eyeliner if I want a dramatic liner look. So not really like the one today. Um, but yeah, it's the best eyeliner brush I've ever used for that. And then I have a bunch of eye brushes. Um, I have six. It's a bit excessive, but I'm going to talk you through them all. So I did used to have a Morphe Crescent shader brush, but you know what? I lost that, so we're not going to talk about it. I then have a Morphe blending brush. This is E27. It is just a huge dome fluffy brush, and it is perfect for blending all the colours on your eye together. This is by far my favourite blending brush. And then from Sigma, I use two brushes. The first one is the Medium Sweeper E54, which I use as my lid colour to pack on colour all over the lid. I usually use this on shimmery um, eyeshadows. And then I have the Diffused Crease E38, which I use to blend out my crease. And it's basically the same as the Morphe one but more pointed, so it's better to blend out crease. And finally, I have three Zoeva ones. I have the Lux Point Pe I've called this wrong. I've called this wrong my whole life. I've always called it the Lux Pointed Crease, but it's the Lux Petite Crease, so sorry about that. This is just my all-time favorite crease brush. I just use it in my crease, and then also to use in it put in my inner corner, and then also to sweep under my eye to give like some smokiness color. Don't know if that was the right terminology. The soft definer brush, which is just like a small fluffy brush. I just use this to like apply base colors. Um, like I usually apply a base color to like set the concealer. So I just use it for that. And sometimes I use it for blending. It's just kind of like a really good multi-purpose brush. And finally I have the, what's this one? The classic shader, which is just a good flat top one, which I use in dark to pack on darker colors colors to pack on darker colors in the outer corner and that is all of my brushes i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't already if you haven't checked out emily's video i'll leave her link in the description box down below so you can go ahead and watch that and i will see you guys next time bye